Hello, hello, and welcome to another episode of Taco Bites, your daily bite of DJ, episode number 158. We're talking today infrastructure. We're going to talk uh, a little bit of uh, AVAX, and we are going to talk uh, Zen, and we are going to talk a little bit of everything um, as we talk uh, with some awesome people uh, going on. Philip, how are you doing tonight, sir? I'm doing great, Taco. Thanks for having me. Hey, are you going to be at the uh, Polka Dot uh, event tomorrow? I am not. I'm going to be on a train heading to Miami. Oh, damn. But I was, yeah, so um, I'm going down to Miami for Quantum. Um, and so. What? Uh, quantum. Quantum Miami. But there is an event by Quant at East Denver that I'm going to be going to. When is East Denver? So officially, it is the second through the uh, fifth. Um, but it starts on the 25th for the Buildathon um, mm-hmm. until the fourth with the judging on the fifth. And so, but I'm going to be there from the 23rd until the sixth. Oh, I thought you said February 2nd. Okay, it's I'm looking on the thing right now. It says 24th to the 5th. Yep. Word. Yeah. And so during that time, I'll be going to Supermoon, uh, Decentral, East Denver, WalletCon, um, Planet Dow, and Interlope conferences as well. Okay. Yeah. Interlope is the big is a conference from uh, Axelar, Decentral, you know, Builders Galore, Dow Planet, sort of a consortium of of DAOs, um, and and supporting of Dow building. And I think Unit is going to be doing an event as well that I'm sp- okay. going to be at. And then um, I think I might be talking at Supermoon, um, but uh, yeah. Yeah, how do you feel about Moon River? Um, so Derek's not going to be getting rid of it. Um, it's a really, it's, it's right now, it's sort of the playground for Moonbeam, just like the, you know, the conversion of Kusama to Dot, you know, cause Kusama was not meant to be long-term solutions for anything, but it be, uh, that, you know, that was the idea behind Kusama. It was supposed to be just battleground, um, battle testing and seeing what survives. Um, and so Moon River might be coming, becoming more of a, a, a layer for metaverse and, uh, uh, and games as well. Okay. So, you know, uh, in short, uh, you know, well, I, I'm bullish on everything. Um, on Dude, dot same. pretty much, you know, um, would you rather have dot or avalanche? If you could only have one coin, one coin for the rest of your life, which would you rather have? Dot. One reason. One reason why is because of everything I can I can transform dot into within the polka dot ecosystem. Really? Okay. Like yeah. what? I, I I don't really know too much on dot. Well, so I can I can I can convert it into any other token within the polka dot ecosystem. You know, like wrapping, wrap it, you know, stake it. I can, um, any other protocols in the future of governance, um, you know, and, uh, yeah, with, you know, with XCM within the entire polka dot ecosystem, shout out to Yuri, uh, you know, uh, if you want to come on up and, and degen with us as we do our bite, um, but uh, yeah, no, uh, it was uh, Dot, I think, has, and I think uh, I have to read more into it, but they recently, you know, because of what they can do with an upgrade, the upgradable smart contracts, you know, well, with the chain, it can be upgraded without any downtime. Um, that, uh, and Captain, I see you there. Um, within uh, Polkadot ecosystem, it dot is being labeled as an application, so it, it doesn't need not going to be regulated by the SEC. So okay, interesting. 
if you can literally have a token that's that's labeled as a um, labeled an application, you know, a token that's an application, you could literally have a token that that fuels a, a network piece. Um, I got some big uh, has some big promise on that, um, and it really then sort of lays out the. I guess you could say the idea of what you could possibly do with it, you know, word. Okay. So, you know, imagine having to buy a token that in and of itself is a full on application built into it. Okay. You know? And I don't even, I don't even, I, I don't even have an idea of how that could be explored, you know? But it's, you know, whatever you can do within the data of it, it could be unique to it. It could be, you know, you know, it falls in the line of, you know, we know where it's at, but we can't follow a single, you know, any individual coin. Wish we could, but it could do something like that, too. So you could literally drop, you know, a penny in the pond and you could circulate and see where that that penny ends up eventually or the parts of the penny, you know. Yeah, I just copped some Moon River. It looked like it was a good deal, and I was like, you know what? No, I, I'll take a chance on it. Yeah. Um, so one of the big things that I, I see coming up uh, is a is a lot of glimmer burn off. You know. So, okay. Um, yeah, and that's that's due to the Zen stuff within Zen. You know. Oh so. fuck! This thing was originally like, god damn, this thing peaked. And fucking hit forty five cents. What the fuck? Yeah. What's damn? What's, everything what's, got hit hard. Everything got fucking raped in this market. What's Moon River at right now? Moon River is at eight dollars and twelve cents. Yeah. I remember when it was at like five hundred. Yeah. You know, um, and we and and we had the guy on the other night that you know he's like, I want to see a thousand X. I'm like, Keith. I'm like, that's not. What, what? It's already done. That's already passed. Yeah. It's SDS curve G. Yeah. You know, like in, in this next cycle, we will, you know, this year we'll probably see ETH um, 3X, 3 to 4X maybe, you know. Um, but within the next two years, I see it 5 to 7Xing, you know. Um, yeah. I definitely and- see by next Bitcoin bull run, like Bitcoin happening, it should definitely be 10 grand. Yeah, uh, that well, that like happened, I could yeah. see that. I could definitely see that. Yeah. Um. Yeah, the next having on on Bitcoin because you got to remember, we I was talking, you know, uh, I might have been talking with you or might have been talking to Altitude about it, but um, you know, nineteen million Bitcoin are already in circulation. The next two million are going to be coming out over the next hundred and twenty four years. You know. Yep. So. Yep. Um, you look at that and you know that the work on that is going to be harder. And so, yeah, it, it's these, these, these last, these last coins, which are really going to move the market. And cause I think having it, it will go down to three coin, three or four coin, um, per block, um, creation. And so, um, yeah, I don't know, man. I listened to Jamie Dimon. He was saying that picture of Satoshi was going to pop up. <laughs> I've looked at a couple, a couple of those blocks that people say to look at. The number one person who um, I would listen to about what they might have found within any of the blocks would be uh, Jim Blasco and... Um, Oh my gosh, I forget this guy's name. I met him at Coin Agenda. Yeah, he he yeah, he he was like he used AI to analyze every block created. You know, and the hash of each. So, we'll see. Um but as each one of the cool things about it is each hash, you know, increases the amount of zeros. Um what I really like about it is if it's found it previously, it can't use it. You know, it forgets that it's found it before, you know, and it restarts. So, um, yeah, you know, you could start, but you'd be shooting in the dark, you know? Yeah. 
So, but yeah, no. How's your week been so far? Man, um, pretty fucking great, to be honest with you. Um, got to go to the gym for a good bit, hung out with some family. Um, Eagles won, Giants lost, couldn't complain. How about you? Yeah. Um, man, it, it's been a good week. Uh, Wednesday night was a fun event. Uh, Thursday was a cool, cool little networking event. You know, Saturday had, had a really, really cool meeting with, um, 980 consciousness. Um, and then, um, Saturday I hosted my little get together, which was really cool. You know, I think, you know, um, I'm going to be sending out a little gift to everyone that, that signed up for it. I think like 30 people signed up for it. I think around like eight to 10 people showed up. Um, which was really actually sort of cool because, you know, got some support from the, the local event throwers here, you know, um, got to, uh, see a friend, Drew Swaggerty there. He's, he's an amazing dude. And, and, and he is, uh, he's been big in tech for a long time. And now his wife is, is moving. She has a million followers on Instagram and they're getting ready to launch a project, um, to help provide both, uh, you know, a web two experience, but if they want it, they can also have a web three experience, you know, and it's going to be there. And so, uh, I, she's a huge Peloton, um, uh, instructor. She's like the number one Peloton instructor or something like that, I guess, I think top 10, something like that. Uh, but yeah, like, the, her engagement is just amazing and like they designed it and they've been working on it for a long time, which is really cool to see. I love that stuff. Um, and then he's, uh, uh, using Gavin Giles from, uh, Vankman project and chive TV, um, to, to throw it. And they're the ones that did the Bill Murray stuff. Oh, okay. So, cool. yeah. So that will be a, that will be a cool piece coming out. Um, but, you know, uh, with the handful of people that came out that wanted to do it, um, you know, they got their 10 bucks from Solana, got to learn about a little bit about Solana from the staff, got a little bit, got to little hear, hear a little bit from me on, on why I'm bullish on it. And uh, then, um, you know, some uh, Zen, local Zen people were there and, and we sort of like continued to, after the store closed for like another hour, which was pretty fun, you know? So. Nice. Yeah, but yeah, I couldn't make it. I checked on uh, the Long Island Railroad, and they didn't have, they okay, so they stopped fucking doing trains at like three forty on Saturday. And like when I looked at it, it was three forty five. I was like, "What the fuck?" I was like, "I thought they had trains like all day." Yeah, man. Like, I will be honest. When you said it was gonna take you a total of four hours on the train, I was like, "Unless you have to come out to New York, come down here to do something else." And you're going to be heading home anyways. Like, I love, I am grateful for the the support. But uh, we, we'll catch up on another time, you know? Yeah, but, dude, I was like, uh, I, I don't, see, here's the thing. I don't really like going into the city when it's like fucking 11, 12 o'clock at night. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm from the South, man. Like, I'm from Texas. Like, I don't have my peace on me. Like, I'm not allowed to, like, carry anything up here like i just don't feel safe up here dude there's i will be 100 percent honest there's unless you're looking for trouble there's not trouble you know and stuff like that sort of like it's one of those times like yeah if you're going somewhere cool but 99 percent of the time it's just a i think it's like an energy magnet you know like yeah yeah but, and you know what i i just see some shit on the news where everyone's getting stabbed and shit in the subways and it's just like i know news propaganda and shit but it's like you know what i'd rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it and it's like you know what i don't want to put myself in a position position ah, a position at fucking 12 o'clock one o'clock in the morning coming home from like <laughs> brooklyn or whatever yeah. so i'm just like you know what let's not do this later. Yeah. yeah but those so like the big like you you know the 21 foot rule you know oh yeah um, and so it's like 
literally, if we're unless it's unless it's pulled and ready, you know. But those people that are doing that shit. They're not like you don't see them walking down the freaking subway with a knife like, you know, Jason Meyer style. You know, they just stumbling around looking like they're drunk and they just, you know, fall into you and then, you know. Yeah, I mean, see, the 21 foot rule. I wish a nigga would try it. <laughs> That's all I got to say. When it I, I've done enough training. Yeah, I've done enough training. I have my license. I, I've done enough matches. I know what to do and I have a fairly good uh, reaction time. Yep. So I wish <laughs> I don't wish, but I wish, <laughs> you know? Yep. yep. No. I, and I know like, yeah, I, I did, I did training a long, long time ago. So I'm not like, so I'm rusty. Are as you fuck. Military? I, I, I'm, I'm some X stuff. <laughs> yeah. But so um, you're military, ex military, um, you know, it's just stuff okay. I don't talk about these days, you know. That's fine. But um yeah, no, it's it's you know, hell. I might I might ask which way do I put the bullet in again? <laughs> just joking. <laughs> Forward. <laughs> Forward. Um but like yeah. Um you know, I remember one of the time like when when NFTs first started coming out with like metadata and stuff like that within it. Um, one of the biggest things, hidden metadata, um, one of the biggest things that I actually thought that we might get used was black market NFTs with hidden metadata for like the Liberator, you know, code in it and stuff like that. So, like, uh, dude, that's fucking sick. Nah, that, like that, 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 that would be, you know, some, some crazy shit, you know? So, that's immutable. Oh my god, that's that's crazy actually. Yeah. Yeah, you know. Yuri, come on up, degen with us. Um Yuri, I got to meet Yuri. I've met Yuri before somewhere. I know I have. Um but I got to meet him again on Wednesday night. Um and yeah, so really really good person comes off as and and uh want to see more what you're doing, Yuri. Um but yeah, no, right now um I'm prepping for, you know, so topics tonight, you know, one of the things, you know, one of the big spaces I was on today was with Liberty Square. Um, me and Liberty were, and, you know, a few others were talking about, uh, I got brought up, I came onto the show late, you know, after it just sort of started, but um, there was some, like FUD from like outside people, you know, that were like mad that, um, uh, What's the word I'm thinking of? We're fudding that like teams were getting paid in a bear market. And I'm like, you know, and Liberty said it best because they actually have like the numbers for a project that literally like, you know, minted for 0.8 soul in a bear market, you know? Um, and since then have, you know, went as high as, you know, uh, they've, you know, 40 X, you know, and they're now like 20 X. Um, they've returned about a million dollars back to the community. You know, that shit's fucking amazing. You know, so people who think that this like stuff isn't going on, but you know, I don't know. Projects need to p need to pay their team members, you know, because if you're not getting paid, it's a hobby. I'm going to steal someone's line there. And, and that's, that's completely true. So, um, yeah, you know, if they're if they're returning value, um, I don't know. But uh getting ready for Avalanche uh and Savvy. That's are you are you prepping for that? I am. So I have a question for you. How do okay. you foresee the future on a lot of this within the next three months? Do you believe that this is a bull trap? Or do you think we're out? Uh I think we're out. I do too. And, and I think, I, I think we'll yeah. have a small pullback, touch the 200. Yeah. And I think we're off. Yeah. I think, I think where we're at right now, you know, um, uh, I sort of, I, you know, I, I called, I said we were going to dip again between the 25th and, um, and new year's. That's what we do oh, every yeah. year. Oh yeah. I do that's, that. That's, shit that's too. I was like, yep. 
it's you know, <laughs> and, and, you know, um, I could have gotten in some really cool long positions if I had like thought of that, you know, well, I did, yeah. but I was, I was like, Oh, I'll do that later. And then, you know, you keep saying that like, um, someone was just telling me, um, Stargate, you know, Stargate just rose. I think like they've almost 40% in the last day and a half, two days, you know, 30, 33% of that was just today, you know? Um, yeah. And, uh, you know, um, I think there might be some retracing, you know, it'll, 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 it'll drop back for a moment. People will take profit and then it might come back. But what I'm actually prepping for is shorting DYDX. Yeah. What is that? I've seen that so many fucking times. So DYDX is, uh, releasing unlockings 85%, I think of its tokens, February 1st or February 2nd. And it's had a great run the last two days, you know, last, the last week's been amazing for it. But, um, I think from what I, from, from the fire hydrant, um, unlock schedule of stuff, um, 81% of that is investors, Mm. you know, I think, or like six, yeah, six, six, it was either 60 or yeah. 80% of the tokens, so 85% is being released. 80% of that is investor tokens. Okay. So, yeah. Um, Do you fuck with any um, proof of work besides Bitcoin and Light? Um, let's see. What do we have left proof of work? Um, oh, man. I'll take that as a no. Not off the top. Oh, well, Zen, you know, in a way it's, it's proof of work, but it's proof of participation. No, I mean like um, actual proof of work. Uh, not, no. Um, Ecta. I fuck with Ecta. Um, and, uh, I was fucking with Helium. Um, but Helium moved to Solana. Um, and then uh, Demo, and um, uh, so n- right now Nodal, but Nodal moved uh, from um, XLM. So oh, I fuck with XLM. You know, um, yeah. I, you know that's been fun. Um, Stella was my first. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, uh, what is it? I think, um, uh, relay, um, that one. Um, and then, um, Raven. Okay. Who fucks with, who fucks with Raven still? Dude, Raven. All right. Raven's kind of a dead project. Not going to lie. Um, I have a bag. I think everyone has a bag that's been in this space for a good minute of Raven because, you know, it's got a lot of promise behind it. Yeah. But there's just no one fucking building on it. Um, the wallet is so shitty. The, the The mobile wallet is so shitty. It's so hard to store. Um, which mobile? No, which mobile? Wait, let me, which, let me find my Raven mobile. It's the, mm-hmm. it's this Raven wallet. It's like, oh, yeah. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. You I'm always have to, to resync, and sometimes if it's too fucking long, it makes you resync for the entire block schedule. Oh, and by the way, the phone has to stay on and active. It can't sync in the fucking background like every other wallet does. Yeah. I don't see anyone building dApps with it. Um, I have some Raven NFTs. I have some shit in that ecosystem, but like... It's it's not real. <laughs> yeah, it, like, it's just whatever. I like Ergo a lot more than Raven. Okay, I fuck with Ergo so hard, dude. Ergo, oh my god! You know what? Everyone always gives shit about Cardano, and Cardano is so okay. Yeah, so Cardano, like. I haven't seen anything of val- true value come out of Cardano. There's a ton of NFT projects. There's a ton of NFT projects that are doing 
uh, bringing Web2 people on. There's a ton of infrastructure semi and being built in the background with Cardano. A lot of stuff in Europe and Japan. Um, and um, Dr. Ben G um, from Singularity Net is using it for his AI uh, neural network, on chain neural network. Um, and but like outside of that, I don't see a whole lot. You know, I can't even yeah, think of it. it there's on very Cardano. little left. Yeah. The the issue that I see with Cardano is that it's written in Haskell and there's yep. just not that many fucking people that can write Haskell because yep. Haskell is such a large, um, big brain kind of programming language. Yep. So I do see that that's going to be the issue with it. But I do think that Cardano long term could be a good play, but even still, it's not something that I need to rush into right now to purchase because it like dude, if Cardano had the same market cap as Bitcoin, it'd be worth nine bucks. Yeah. Like you're not gonna miss the boat on Cardano. Like <laughs> like you're good. Yeah. One of the things I like about Cardano though is I, I almost want to say family friendly chain. You know? Um so I went to CNFT um, in Vegas right before they had um, Rare Bloom in Denver. And um, one originally had been built at like 50 projects showing up. Then it was built at like 75. Then it was built at like 100 projects. And I was like, cool. That means 50 projects finally like committed and and like sent in their money. Um, And but uh, got there. There was like 150 projects there. Um, and there was, um, great talks. Uh, Richard was there. Um, art. Uh, yeah. And, um, Ugh. and, uh, and then Hoskins was there and, um, it was, and one of the, like, there was, uh, there was a lot of 3d animated, like, and video game projects there as well, you know? Okay. Um, you know, they just came out with their side chain, um, Midnight, and I'm waiting to see. Uh, I'm having to yeah, do some deep diving. they're trying to do some shit like, um, what was it? Um, Parathreads. Um, they're the sorry. parachains. Uh, you know? Fucking Monero. Yeah. Well, so Midnight will is going to be compliant, but that can be used at a government level. And meets they 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 had to find the the toughest bar, and so that it can meet auditor requirements, but still be private. Um, it's and, not private. Yeah. So it will. It can be used. It can be made private by the by the chain by the the designator. So almost like a shielded, non shielded from like Zcash. You know, I. You know what. I really feel that in the next cycle, the next bull run, the biggest bag to hit is going to be privacy coins. Um, I, I feel the next coins. cycle is when we'll really yeah. press on to that privacy issue. Yeah. I think data coins will be the next, will be the, will be the big thing. Okay. You know, and like you know, creator tokens are going to be really big. I think this run, you know, like you can buy you can you know. Uh, I haven't added a, a shit ton to the liquidity pool yet, and I I haven't put it all on. I ha- I'm waiting for approval by, um, Coin Gecko, um, but there's a Player One Taco uh, token out there on Solana. <laughs> I fucked up. And I I mixed up my decimal counts, so there was supposed to be a trillion, but there's only a thousand. <laughs> but it goes back oh, nine decimal like places, so, so we can so we can have satoshis. You can have you can have you can have uh, you can have uh, tacos, and you can have like a uh, you know um, taco bites. You know, <laughs> taco, a, taco bites. <laughs> a, a, a thousand taco bites equals. One uh, one taco. Fire. 
but nice. I'm going to, I'm going to be using it as like, almost like, I think like almost like an investment token slash uh, reflection token piece to where um, I might, what I might end up having to do is using it as a token spot, um, not as a proxy contract, but if it goes out, um, you know, then uh, I'll have to do a reflection, uh, a new token um, that with different, different settings and stuff like that in it, you know, but I did that on Solana. I got so. you. Hey, I have a question for you. Do you know yeah. why the Board Ape Yacht Club got to be the Board Ape Yacht Club? Like, what the fuck made them so special? Um, Is it the celebrity endorsements? No. No. Uh, internal. It was one of those things where it was an internal buildup okay. where people got to, um, you know, like ha finally you got to, ha like, it was one of the first things that gave people true rights to their item. So it was their own community that um, were buying up billboards across the U.S. and the world and, like, pasting those out. Like, before they even started making groups, before they even had a Discord group, you know, they because they were, you know, a bunch of different alpha groups, you know. Um, my friend Justin, um, he bought, like, I think close to, like, 300 to 400 of them. And he gave away half of those because he's like, hey, I want you to be part of this community, you know, like, I think this might be something, you know, like, and literally, like, as they were minting them out, you know, giving them away, you know, and um, my friend, uh, uh, BitBoy J, he's the one who actually minted the last, he, he loves this, this piece. And I'm sorry, that's the only way I know he, he minted the last pizza bite holder. You know, so it's uh, been a while. yeah, um, but like it was one of those things to where people had the, a chance to circle around something and no one knew what they were going to do with their IP yet, you know, but the fact that something was offered with IP, you know, sort of like it was diff so different that people could do whatever the fuck they wanted with it for once, you know. And, uh, you know, it, it, celebrity endorsement, if anything, you know, they were already at a price. It became like a celebrities don't go buy, um, you know, $10 things from Ross, you know, well, some of them do now, you know, but, um, they don't go buy $10 things from Ross to be, you know, as a status symbol, you know signs that you've made it as a celebrity is you have like the fancy car or do you have like the diamond necklaces and stuff like that. So it was a status symbol among celebrities for a minute that were wanting to get part of something to where there was a lot of education piece. And I don't, they didn't buy it to buy it to flip, you know, but to, as a status symbol, you know, um, look what Eminem and, and, and Dre did. You know, um, I was at Ape Fest when, you know, they, they came out and they fucking showcased their music video, you know? So, yeah. um, yeah, it's kind of a community and a thing you get to meet with and shit like that. Yeah. You know, um, it was one of those first things, um, that, um, that really allowed people to, own something independently yet together. Yeah. You know? And then who, who turned that on their face, but Gary V. Cause then after, after that, everyone, you know, came out with derivatives of something where you have the IP to it. Cool. I have the IP right now to pixelated sperm. What the fuck am I going to do with that? <laughs> you know? Yeah. But, now, now, then someone came along that said, I'm making a project. No, you're not going to have IP. I'm going to, I think that I can do more by myself or with our brand to raise everyone rather than any one person working to raise everyone. You know, like think of like, like if Mark Cuban, you know, came out with an NFT. Do you think it would have IP? No. Mr. Wonderful, he'd be like, no, 
I will create more value for this project by myself. You know, Mr. Yeah. Wonderful would say something like, uh, you know, I create more value with my pinky, you know, uh, uh, and swiping left on it than I would, you know, um, any one person by themselves. But that's, you know, because they've gotten to a, a point to where pretty much people think will think eat whatever. They they, don't stink. Yeah, they will, they will eat whatever they hand out. And a lot of what they hand out is good. Not everything, but enough is that it picks up steam to where it gets into the right hands of the people that need it. You know, like not everyone needs everything, but, um, you know, some of those, some things that, that have come out, um, you know, over the last 15 years, you know? Yeah. Um, but one of the really cool things, you know, that I've seen more and more is utility tools, you know, um, to make everyone feel like the education piece that not everyone needs. Like, how many NFT projects do I need to be a part of that have new NFT tracking tools and like um, management assets? You know, I only need three, really. You know, um, adding more to it just adds more noise, more confusion. So I have access to straight fire hydrants that I get my data from. I don't need anyone's interpretation because then it will skew my own. Same thing with TA. I love watching other people's TA, you know, um, for a different perspective because really TA is emotional when, you know, if I'm doing, if I'm doing full TA on something, I will do. I will do it twice. Um, I will do it. You know, I tried to, I, you, what I found with my best schedule is I would do it. Then I'd eat breakfast. I'd take a really big poop and then I would do it again. That's very detailed. Wow. You know, and welcome, Lissa. Come on up. Um, and, uh, <laughs> I listen. Did you just join in on that? <laughs> I think I think she missed. I, I hope she missed that last part. Um, <laughs> you know, but um, and the reason I do that is because TA is strictly emotional. So how you're how you're viewing of the day is is completely is is how you see things. It it goes along those lines of um, do you see a an old woman or do you see a pretty lady in the picture? Yeah, it's like, oh, do you see this? Like, TA doesn't work as well because it's also in <laughs> logarithmic uh, chart path. What up, Lissa? How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? And I totally came in on that part. <laughs> oh, you did come in on that part? <laughs> so for full reference, I was talking about when I used to do full TA, I would do it in the morning, then I would eat breakfast, then I would, you know, release the Kraken and then I would go do it again because I'd be in a completely different, you know, mood. And uh, yeah, and that, and then I would find a balance in between there because I could make up a token called Carrot and give a month-long chart, you know, detailed chart for it and give it to each of you. And we would, all three of us would come up with a different TA for it, most likely. But what's really hilarious is as we talk about the crypto market not being anything like um, the you know modern day world market, we use modern day world market tools to gauge a market that doesn't sleep. Right, like I never got that. It's because it's like so it's different rules, right? So like crypto goes. 24 7 365 and then we're like using tools that are you know made for whatever nine to five people and it just it doesn't make sense but it yeah it's i've thought about that for a long time <laughs> yeah you know bell rings at nine thirty, goes till four um and and it's off on holidays you know um and weekends. Uh, and uh, it's, uh, you know, and now I literally have to sit and wait and watch something for till like two o'clock in the morning to see if it makes the move I thought it was going to make. So, 
it's it's interesting things. What are your thoughts on XRP? Um, mine or Lissa's? Lissa, what are your thoughts? Uh, I don't like. I like XRP, but I'm not really into XRP. Um, but I really have not looked at charts today because I've been building a website. So, yeah. Is somebody give me TA? Oh, yeah. No. Um, definitely. Um, so my, my thoughts on XRP, um, I see Ripple partnering with a lot of CBDC companies um, in Europe. Um, and putting that out, and it will be a big backer on that. I see it being used to settle payments worldwide a lot quicker. Um, heck, there's even XRP NFTs out now, like on you know XNFTs or something like that. Um, I think that's just a passing fad, but you know it could be something. They could be financial documents, which would be really cool. Um, but uh, you know. I I have a I I've, I've picked up some small bags in in the dip. Word so, yeah. But um, and Yuri returns. Yuri, put in a speaker request because it seems like every time I send you a request, I don't know if it's making you drop out or what. But come on up. But uh, yeah, no, those are my thoughts on XRP. Um, I'm actually applying for a grant for a project with the uh, Ripple's um, engagement fund that they have going on, um, working with a, a project. I'm working with two projects. One, trying to create a incubator project here in, in New York that will like be able to like assist, like subsidize like three to six projects a year for like two years and, and, and turn it into a working model. See if that will work. And then uh, working with uh, C-Sweepers which is also which is partnered up with the the Sea Shepherd fleet to um, put plastic creation on chain, so we can see where it's when it le when it when it gets off chain and who collects it back. Um, but uh, working with the Sea Shepherd fleet to uh, scrape plastics um, and refurbish them into clothes, which is sort of hilarious because it takes like sixty pounds of plastic to make a bikini. No way. <laughs> Yahweh. Because it's the way it, the way it's processed. Um, so obviously it, that can always be improved upon, but without the backing to improve that technology, um, you know, it's inefficient. But at the same time, it takes 60 pounds of plastic out of the ocean and turns it into something that someone wears into the ocean. Possibly. Or at least into the pool. So, Lisa, what's your what's your future? What 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 are you what are you most bullish on right now? Um, I'm honestly like for the company I work for, I'm bullish on them just because like we've been busting our asses for six months or whatever and like we're finally hosting a conference for us like for our blockchain and our company and you know what i mean so yeah i'm bullish on us what? but i'm also bullish yeah. on i'm seeing soul coming back so that's exciting yes. and i'm seeing east kind of push back up a little bit so that's also exciting but um yeah, I bullish on my company, but I'm also bullish on Soul because I'm seeing it go back up. Yeah, it's you know in the last two weeks it's doubled in price. You know, um, uh, there there was someone that made a leverage trade within KuCoin. Um, they leveraged, I think, like it was like around a thousand dollars in options and pieces, and like pulled out almost three quarters of a mil. So. Um, uh, I, I think that was an am amazingly smart move. They got super, they, they, you know, someone future thought some stuff and, but, uh, no Solana's got some amazing things coming up. Philip already knows my thoughts on Solana and, and everything I love in their ecosystem. I'm super bullish on Solana. Um, 
you know, and Solana could easily, will easily 10, 10x from where it is now this year, I think, you know. Um, and uh, yeah, you know, I think it'll get back, it will end the year around 220. I think um, it could it could end up higher, but um, as T-Mobile starts to integrate more in Q3, but um, yeah, I think that would be amazing. So we'll see how how well uh, Saga does as well. I think that will be a big um, a big uh, showcase. So what event are are you are you I know you told me before, but what project does it is it that you're working for? I'm working for Just NFTs. Um, That's yeah. Right. Uh, so we are actually hosting our own event um, in Utah in April. It's like literally the weekend um, after NYC. So like I'll be from California to New York for NFT NYC from Tuesday to Saturday and then Saturday I fly to Salt Lake and our event is Sunday Monday so I'm going to be super busy that week oh man I don't know that's going to uh, man all right um yeah uh are you guys going to be doing anything at NFTLA or at East Denver um so I'm trying to get us to go to um, NFTLA, but mm -hmm. he, like my business partner, doesn't necessarily want to. But I want to go just to go for me. You know what I mean? Um, mm -hmm. And like, obviously, I'll support like the business or whatever. But I just want to go because like I know a lot of people that do NFTLA. So, um, and I went for one day last year and so I would like to go again, but I'm super excited because this is my first year going to NFT NYC and I'm going for myself. So I'm super nervous. Okay. Well, yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna be, um, it's gonna be amazing, you know? Um, and, uh, it, yeah, it's gonna be a blast. Um. I I think so I think I'm going to be in New York for 3 weeks for because uh um let's see here let's post this up in the jumbotron for later for people um and uh yeah um might might have to put this on the agenda but I have uh so after always after NFT NYC they have uh um eth global followed by polka dot decoded so it's going to be it's going to be a, like last last year was 3 weeks of new york for for those conferences nonstop oh you know? geez yeah no i'm so that so we're doing we're doing that one and then i'm going to new york and then 2 weeks later i'm going to be in miami for bitcoin conference so it's been a busy yeah. year <laughs> Yeah. Talk yeah I'm no. gonna catch you later. Thanks for having the space, man. Greatly appreciate it. Bye, Lissa. Thank you very much for joining. Philip, I will see you later. Can you do a, uh, uh, an amazing thing for me, Philip? Um, do you really want me to swallow it again? I, I don't want to do it this time. Okay, fine. Uh, can you go to the Just NFT LLC Big Jumbotron for the tickets and sh give it a share and a like? Yeah, sure. No problem. This time. I that thought we were easier. going down a different road this time, but yeah, I got you on that one. All right. No, I, I got you on that. Are you and are you gonna go to the polka dot uh event? Yeah, that's why I'm like, fuck, it's one o'clock in the morning, I gotta get to sleep. <laughs> oh yeah, hey, don't forget there's also an Aptos event going on as well. I will not go to that. Fuck that shit. <laughs> Okay. Nah, 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 nah. You proof of stake guys can really like talk to me and be like, oh, it's the next best thing. But like, I am not going to buy into the Aptos bullshit. Like, no, no, just no. Right. I bought it. Check out uh, NFT. What? What? Listen. I bought an Aptos, an Aptos NFT the other day. Nice. Ooh. Which one? It was um, Aptos. 
women or something like that. I I can't remember, but it was a small thing. Let me see. Uh, oh, Cartoon uh, Aptos Girls Collection. Hey, supporting women founders wherever women founders have to, you know, find their spot. You got, you know, that's the only way we're going to move forward, you know. Um, but I, 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 that's cool. Tell me about the project. Night, hello. Lisa, tell me, tell, do you, what do you know about that project? Um, I actually don't know a lot, believe it or not. I just bought it on a whim because I was like, um, you know, everyone was like, oh, Aptos, Aptos. So I saw it and I was like, oh, we'll just try it. Their server's really, like their Discord's really um, quiet, I guess you could say. There's only 32 people in the Discord, so it's probably a slow rug. <laughs> Okay. Hey, but it's a memory. It will be history one day. Like I keep all my NFTs, even if they're rugs, I just leave the discords. One of the ones I was <laughs> really sad to see turn into a rug was Cybees. Um, That one sort of sucked. I, I had great, great hopes for that one, but yeah, they, uh, they did the slow rug too. So yeah, slow rug sucks. <laughs> yep. Um but uh yeah, we um seeing some cool stuff coming up. Um so I know uh let's see here. What what am I doing? What am, um uh uh self funding with Voltaire it's, it's, it'll be fully self governing work this is on chain. Okay. Cool. Um, the um, biggest thing that I got uh, Monday leave to Miami for um, uh, Quantum Miami, then back to New York, and then possibly if there's a last second um, shout for support, uh, head to the Super Bowl. Um, and then, but if not, We'll stay in New York until East Denver and head to Denver around the 17th or so, um, or the 20th, I think, um, to because be there from the 23rd until the 6th of March, um, followed by uh, South by Southwest, then NFT or GDC, then NFT LA, then um, possibly Atlanta X. And then NQ1 at NFT Miami. Dang, you got a busy schedule, and I thought I was busy. Yeah, well, and then there's there's like five conferences at East Denver. You're not coming. You guys aren't coming to East Denver. No, we're not. I'm going. I I want to try to go next year. I I would say you should go this year. Plain and simple, it's free. You know, I know, but trying to get from California to there is not fun. It's a two day drive, is it really? Yeah, hmm. like I've left on a uh, um, what is it? Um, <laughs> um, I've I left uh, I left uh, let's see here. I left San Francisco on a Saturday night and uh, pulled over, tw you know, late, early Sunday morning and then pulled over late or early Monday morning and arrived in Denver, you know, Monday afternoon. Hmm. I may have to see then. <laughs> I may be there. <laughs> yeah. You know. Um, if you guys want to present somewhere, I have uh, Supermoon um, is asking me to help find. Uh, they took over the clock tower in Denver and they're doing a four day event and they got like sponsorship pieces for like two grand, one to two grand for like, you know, and that gets you like speaker panel spots, but full access as well as Denver and all of the events. 
So, um, and it's an uh, introduction to a lot of different investors and uh, community leader pieces within the NFT community. So, and those that are building. So, yeah. Yeah, for sure. I'm going to have to talk to my business partner about it because that's what we're looking for right now as an investor. So, yeah. yeah, I've been working my butt off trying to find one. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, no, uh, definitely um, um, send me a DM and, I, and I'll send you the pitch deck. Um, and, and then um, we'll, we'll talk, we can talk on Telegram and I can introduce you to Elena and stuff like that. And they even have uh, places to stay and stuff like that as well set aside, you know. So, yeah. That's cool. I'll definitely reach out. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah. Um, and and that that's you know a, a good piece there to get get you started, you know, um, and in front of the right people, and then, um, yeah, just marketing out and like even um, like talking with the hackers and during the hackathons, you know. So yeah. Plus, you can drop off like you can bring stickers for your event. And uh, drop those out for people to put that onto their calendar, you know? Yeah, for sure. I'm going to have to definitely talk to him about it because, yeah, we're, we're trying so hard to find an investor because we're trying to, like, merge onto, like, other blockchains like Soul. I'm trying to really push Soul and ETH and, you know, trying to get us out there to where we're a multi-blockchain, not just, you know, the one that we're on so yeah so do you uh, for for future thinkers because uh a lot of people end up listening to this which is actually i think really cool uh later do you want to talk about and we can schedule we'd love to schedule a time to like just sort of pull out all of just nfts um but um you want to talk about what you do and and what you're what you're building yeah, for sure. So um, Just NFTs is essentially a Web3 company that um, we're a one-stop shop if you want to start like tokenizing your business or um, doing an NFT project. We do marketing. Um, we have two NFT marketplaces um, on Ravencoin. We have one on Ethereum Classic. Um, and we're starting to host conferences and we're just working on trying to integrate more blockchains. Um, one of our marketplaces, Ravenist, is a com would be a competitor to OpenSea because it's very easy to use. Um, and so we're trying to integrate um, that marketplace into Ethereum to give OpenSea a run for their money because our customer service is very superior to OpenSea. Um, we do stuff same day um, within hours of you telling us um, where OpenSea it can be like days before your ticket's taken care of. So, yep. yeah, that's pretty much just NFTs in a really short nutshell. Um, yeah, if anybody has any yeah. questions, they can reach out. I run all the Twitter, so... I'm the chief marketing officer, so um, I answer a lot of questions because I'm the person that everybody comes to. <laughs> yeah, no, um, and it was it was sort of funny that we, had, but right bef before you had joined, um, we were talking proof of work chains and stuff like that, and we both we were talking about Ravencoin, uh, Raven for a minute. So, yeah. Um, it's uh you know I, I it's down but it's not gone oh yeah no you and know? like ravencoin is a proof of work coin obviously yeah. but it's also community driven so there's no like vcs funding it and um you know it's it's an open source project so um it's community driven there's no marketing team so um, yeah, it's a pretty interesting chain and it's very easy to use. So just, yep. yeah, there's no smart contracts or anything like that. So, um, really how, ma how many nodes are you running? How many nodes are we run running? Oh, I don't know. I'd have to look at the dashboard, 
Last I saw it was right at a thousand or so. Last time. I- None. Are you doing them cloud or are you doing them uh, personally? Um, I'm not too sure. So all of our notes, I'm not running a note personally, um, but like it's decentralized, right? So like around yeah. the world, there's a thousand nodes. Um, I yeah. think that there's a lot in like um, Korea and yeah. um and there's a lot in like South America, North America, and there's a few in Europe, not too many, but um, Ravencoin is really big in um, South Korea, believe it or not. Um, that was really interesting to me. Nice. Yeah, no. Um, uh, proof of work is, is not going anywhere and it has a long way to go, um, you know. And what's really cool, what I like, is the ingenuity that goes behind miners that are providing um, the infrastructure and how they go about, you know, getting their power. You know, I know Bitcoin, I know a lot of Bitcoin miners and old ETH miners that, you know, were running solar operations and stuff like that and, you know, wind turbines and stuff for, you know, renewables. Um, So, yeah, it's sort of cool. Yeah, my husband actually is the chief technical officer for a company called Renewablocks, and they're a renewable mining company um, that it they're Bitcoin mining based on strictly renewables, so like uh, solar, wind, and hydro. Yep, and that's that's some of the cool stuff that that's going on. I like that, you know. Um, people don't talk about that. They just talk about the energy consumption. And what people forget is that people that are doing it are looking for the cheapest energy, you know. And sometimes, just like mining equipment takes, you know, depending on what mining equipment you get, you know, can take anywhere from, you know, six months to, you know, a year and a half to pay itself off, you know. And then you're then you're all in the green. But at the same time, you're looking for cheaper energy, and it's that investment piece in front that that makes you become more green. And I'm talking both gr- in the money sense and in the you know energy sense. Yeah, for sure. So, yeah, no, some cool stuff going on there, um, and yeah, but um. Yeah, no. Um, that's sort of what's going on on this side of the world. Um, let's see here. What was the Zen token? Is the is the other big thing going on? Um, getting ready to, to have that burn off. Um, big burns are coming up on that. Um, that's uh, that's always amazing. Um, and uh, what's coming up next from Jack is always fun to see. Um, but uh, yeah. Uh, do do do. That's yeah. Do you know anything about that game that Yuga just like dropped or whatever? I've been seeing it on Twitter, but I don't know like what it is. Yeah. So, uh, what? Uh, so Dookie, uh, what is it? Dookie, Dookie drop or something like that. Um, basically, what what it is is, um. Every every Macy and every there, for every Macy and every, every Basy, there is a, a a swamp pass. If you uh, combined your uh, tier one is for Macy's, um, tier two is for Macy's, and if they have a, a kennel club with it, tier three is for a Basy, uh, and a tier four is a Basy with a kennel club, and so. Um, it's basically a skill-based game, uh, leaderboard, um, and collecting PowerPoints that will be hashed to your wallet. Um, and whoever ends up having the highest score in the game, you can, um, and that that ticket will be tied to that wallet, which will be tied to that score. So, if you don't have the ticket um, in that wallet, you don't have that score. If you like own the ticket and you move it to another wallet you have to get a new score on, on that wallet. 
Um, but it, what they're looking at is uh, it's basically uh, like a temple run type game. So it's a collector game, time based, um, uh, speed run basically. Um, and from there, you then um, uh, work to collect points. And then whoever is at the top of the leaderboard on the end date, which I think is February 8th, I think, um, the, the, they're going to freeze the leaderboard and they're going to verify scores. So they're going to verify tickets and wallet holders and scores. Um, and whoever has the highest uh, score will get the key, which came out from their, their latest little movie of uh, Jimmy's, Jimmy's Adventure. Um, and then, that, then that everyone else will get a power source as well based on their score. Um, and that unlocks the next, that will be the, ne that will be when their next release of what's coming out from Jimmy's adventure, um, comes out. So yeah, that's all I know because that's all Yuga has released so far. That's interesting. I wish that they would open it up to like people that don't necessarily own one of their NFTs because they're just so popular well, and everybody wants them. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, well, you don't, so you don't have to have a, only Basies and Macy's could claim a ticket, um, a swamp pass, but, um, doesn't, you don't have to have a Basie or Macy to play the game. You just need a swamp pass and you don't, once, once it freezes, you don't need a Basie or Macy to get the power that comes with that. Oh, okay. Interesting. That makes sense. So if you can get one of the, let me, I don't even know. Let me find this out real quick. Um, let's see here. Um, let's go to Yuga. No. I heard um, someone say on a other, on another space that a swamp pass is going for like two ETH. Like that's the lowest right now is two ETH. Uh, that sounds about right. You know? Um, you know, um, do, 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 nope, that's not it. Let's see here. Where is it? Um, do, 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 um, Yeah. Um, yeah. So uh, the, they're basically getting ranked, you know. Um, and so, oh man, um, it's sort of cool to see. Um, oh man, I'm trying to find the the most recent piece. Mm. Doop, doop. Um, where is you can do 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 we are literally looking at this right now as we search. It's fun stuff to look for while while doing that. Um, I am trying to find uh, the keys, but uh, yeah. I also heard someone say that the key, like the highest score, gets the that key, and that key is yep. worth like a million dollars or something like that. Well, we don't know yet. Um, you know, it will, it will all be, um, what, uh, um, what comes out from it. So we will see, um, 
I'm just waiting to see what uh do 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 if they have um let me see by um recently created if they have any swamp passes. Um um Do 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 do. Dang, I have. I, I'll have to look for this more elsewhere. I uh, for Dookie Dash. Um, I'm not sure um, where. Uh, I gotta look for the the for Dookie Dash. Um, yeah. Um. Yeah. Do 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 do. Uh. uh. Mm -mm -mm. Boom boom boom. Um. Uh. Do 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 do. Dookie dash dookie dash dot com dookie dash now. Dookie Dash Mission. Uh, do, so, yeah, it goes until uh, February 8th. Um, and, uh, yeah, you know, that's when the sewer closes. Then the summoning. That's right. Um, you'll only be able to, for each pass that you have, um, once it's frozen, uh, it will allow for uh, the summoning to happen. And based on your score... Uh, the summoning will do whatever the summoning does. You know, um, I'm not not 100 percent sure. No one is, other than Yuga. So yeah, yeah. I, I was just hearing about it, and I didn't n really know what it was. So I figured I would ask you because you pretty se you seem to be in the know. <laughs> Sometimes. Sometimes I, I know, I know, I know, I know uh, I've, I've scratched the surface on a lot of things and I know where to f go get more information when I, when I, when I'm able to, to look. So 100%, I thank you for that. So I like being, I like being, um, knowing what's going on so that I can either help. Um, yeah. So, Yeah. Wonder Pals are making a big jump. Same with Angry Ape Society. Um, ooh. Charitable NFT spotlights. Not your bro, Maya Spirits and Woman Rise. Good to see. Um, and Loner Girl. Loner Girl was pretty cool. That one was a pretty cool piece. Ah, there it is. There's Sewer Pass. So yeah, floor right now is uh one point eight nine ETH. Dang. But so I mean it's not bad considering the floor for mutants like sixteen, I, I think. It was like sixteen. Yeah. So um yeah. But um and then Jimmy the Monkey Mint. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so that's sort of, it's preparing for the next thing. We'll see. But it's, it's, it's sort of cool. Um, so I got to give, I got to give them props for that. And, uh, as they, f they feed into the next man, next piece, sort of amazing to see. But um, Stickman Toys is, is one of those big things um, that also sort of has some really cool things coming out with it as well. So what um, 
projects do you see coming up for Seoul? Like for Seoul? Yeah. For uh, Seoul. Liberty Square. Um. Uh. Meta Tattoo Club. Uh, D Gen Town. Um. You know. Um. Some fun stuff within the Franc and Bonk communities. Did you get your Bonk airdrop? No, I don't think I did. Oh. Um, it, so what what they what they did with Bonk was probably one of the smartest things you could do with an airdrop. Rather than doing like a proof of participation one time, like coin market cap, you know, airdrop stuff. They looked at the top 45 project, 30, 45 projects, and then they airdropped those holders. So if you're wanting an active community, what best rather than going with the with NFT communities, um, they airdropped them on those. And then what was sort of cool to see of the active wallets, you know, that weren't just that aren't just hard wallets or cold wallets. Um where people are touching and looking at stuff all the time. Um, 60% of the active wallets took the airdrop of Bonk and put it back in the ecosystem. So pretty amazing. That is pretty amazing. You know, like they, like, and me, I took, I took the $20 and I split it in half. I turned, I turned $10, 10 of it into soul and add it into some some of the whirlpools on Orca. And then once I earned enough, split it out into Radium as well, earning some mad interest. Um, and I've now turned that 20 bucks into, you know, through LP pools and providing back into the ecosystem. I've turned it into, you know, almost $170. Eh, no, because I've spent some of, I spent, so I have about one hundred and seventy dollars left out of the twenty dollars I was airdropped, yeah. you know, and I I bought a handful of other NFTs along the way. So, um, but yeah, it's sort of fun to do. It's a fun thing to see being done, you know. Yeah, so. I I only hold three Solana NFTs, but I've been really looking at like. Um, all the different communities and um, looking at what projects should be, I should be investing in. And um, I'm really, really interested in soul, believe it or not. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm really bullish on it. Two, two big projects, um, you know, um, that, that are still building and coming out with some amazing stuff. Liberty square, and Trip and Ape Tribe um, are big ones. And uh, then at the same time, um, I, w- I would then, um, you know, DJ Town has some cool stuff coming up um, as well. But uh, yeah, like if you want to go on an entire journey, you know, with like a project that takes some effort trip and ape tribe i will have to look into it um and one of the one a cool project i was turned on to i don't know i i don't know if it's still active or not but they were actually doing good um uh but coral tribe on solana as well coral tribe you said yeah. So one of the things that they do with the, the fees they collect and, and what they're doing from their different pieces is they were uh, working to um, repair certain certain patches of coral in the ocean. That's awesome. I love I love projects that like give back to the like community to help like the obviously like the recycle of the plastic to make bikinis and stuff like that, like saving the earth type things. I like that. Yeah. Um, you know, big ones are like, you know, DJ ape Academy. Um, yeah. Coral tribe. 
Yeah, floor's at like one right now. Um, and uh, yeah, um, it's spread out pretty good. Um, yeah. So uh, with 5,861 holders out of a 6.6 thousand supply. So, yeah. I think that's, yeah. Do, 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 do. And then activities. Yeah. You know? Yeah, for sure. Um, I'll have to look into it. I appreciate you so much. And, yeah. you know, I always try to come to the space when I see you on. So, um, anyway, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's getting late for me. So, I'm probably yeah. off. <laughs> me as well. And so let's uh let let's end this night uh as we end every night uh with final thoughts. Lisa, final thoughts. I'm actually after talking to you, I'm actually really bullish on soul. So when this space ends, I'm going to start buying up some NFTs on soul. <laughs> okay. Um yeah, um Hop into uh, hop into Discord of Liberty Square. Um, hop into the Discord of Trip and Ape Tribe. The uh, you know that's where I would start. You know because the Liberty Square has um, three three collections out right now. They have the they have a uh, um, the squirrel sinister squirrels. They have the hollowed, and then they have their. Um, their Christmas piece, but that's been revealed already. And, and I think it's frozen right now. Um, they're getting ready for their next, yeah. next uh, project release. Um, come uh, Valentine's for Valentine's day massacre. Um, but those are two that I would hop into. Um, and, uh, but trip and ape tribe, I think might be a really cool start, you know? And then send me a shout out when you get in there and I'll like connect you with like Emma, uh, who is an amazing Emma in trip and ape tribe and Cass in, uh, Liberty square. And they can give you the down low They're They're the two, two head mods there and they will give you the down low on everything to get you on your journey there. Awesome. Yep. So, but, all right, so those are those those are your final thoughts for tonight. My final thoughts, as always, are uh, you know a closed mouth cannot be fed, and you cannot feed a closed mouth. You know, eventually I'll try to I'll figure out try to figure out something else better to say, but that is what I end every night on because uh, you can't look you can't expect opportunity if no one knows you're looking, and you can't accept opportunity if you're not looking. Um. And so, uh, yeah. And then we're going to end tonight on our bet on, on the best joke in the world. Are you ready for the best joke? Sure. All right. Love you. Love everyone that comes and listens to this later. Thank you so much. Um, knock, knock. Who's there? <laughs>